वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल स्टडी विथ जय श्री सो हियर आई एम विथ यू टूडे विथ अ न्यू पोएम टेलीविजन ऑफ आई सी सी क्लास टेंथ विच इज रिटन बाई रॉयल डाल द फर्स्ट लाइन दिस इज अ वेरी ईजी पोएम सो जस्ट गो थ्रू द पोएम द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग वी हैव लर्न सो फार एज चिल्ड्रेन आर कंसर्न इज नेवर 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 लेट दैम नियर आर टेलीविजन सेट or better still just don't install the idiotic things at all so here the poet is saying he is rather advising from his experiences that people should never let their children to sit near the television he rather advises that it is better not to install the television which is an idiotic thing why he has called it idiotic thing those things are discussed in the next stanza just like the mobile phones as you are seeing that today all the children are even you will see the small children they all the time they are engrossed seeing the mobile phones so it captures their mind it uh, so here the poet is saying with the same thing that it is happening with the television now the next lines are in almost every house we have seen we we have watched them gaping at the screen so wherever the poet is going he has seen that in every house there is a television we have watched them gaping at the screen means he they are the children where uh, them means here them are referring to the children so they are gaping means they are just staring at the screen they loll and slop and lounge about the children stare with their eyes at the television and their eyes kept wide open sometimes they become tired of seeing it but still could not stop so the habit of seeing television they become lethargic and sleepy but do not stop their eyes watching at the screen because they are so much engrossed in seeing the television it has captured their mind he saw recently at someone's house that children are sitting on the floor means a dozen of eyes are sitting on the floor now see the lines from 13 to 16 they sit and stare and stare and sit until they are hypnotized by it so when the children sit in front of television they are totally mesmerized by it they become so much addicted to it that they don't want to move and forget about everything around their minds become absolutely drunk with that junk which is shown on the television so why he has called here ghastly junk means all whatever is shown on the television that is all rubbish and there is no reality there is no such thing that they can gather the knowledge from the television they don't want to spend any time with creating while creating something new or explore the world around them it totally captures their little minds which is full of enthusiasm enthusiasm means excitement and energy and kills their imagination what kills their imagination television as you will yourself see that whenever you see the television what is going on there whether it is a serial a movie or anything whatever is going there you just watch them and those all the information collects in your mind you are not able to think or create anything which is your own imagination so it creates it skills your imagination your natural building power now read the lines from 17 to 21 oh yes we know it keeps them still they are don't climb out the window sill never fight or kick or punch they leave you free to cook the lunch and wash the dishes to in the sink so here the poet says that television make the children sit at one place they do not climb upon window sills they do not fight among each other like a brother or sister or brother brother fight among each other in the houses you must have your own brother or sister you must be experiences these things they do not kick or punch each other they become so silent that even the mothers are not disturbed they can cook lunch easily or clean the dishes in the sink while they are watching or busy seeing the television 
so they let them their mothers do their household work without being disturbed because now the children are busy in watching television so they're no more involved in any naughty activities but these these do more harm to children as you see in this way that it is very good for the mothers that now they are free to do their works and the children are sitting at one place but there are many wrong things you can see that what harm these practices are going with the children that they are sitting means it kills their enthusiasm they become lethargic and they become fatty by sitting at one place because childhood is a time where there is so much of energy and your mind is full of curiosity so everything you see you want to gain the knowledge of that and that knowledge creates your uh, well being that knowledge creates your character it forms your character by doing uh, by seeing the television this way they are away from their natural activities and that destroys their overall development so the television stops all these activity of the children now discuss the lines 20 to 26 but did you ever stop to think to wonder just exactly what this does to your beloved thought here the poet is asking a question he is putting a question or throwing a question to the parents he is talking to the parents in this stanza it rots the sense in the head it kills imagination dead here he is ending these two lines with exclamatory mark now see these lines poet says to parents that do you know what harm are you doing to your children with that idiot box what is the idiot box the television which is hanged on their wall it kills all the imagination power of your young minds their minds are full of creativity naturally which they have to explore and you need to polish them but when they get addicted to television it stops all their imaginative minds and they start thinking them real what they see in the television rather what is around them if they see the things around them they will explore and they will find the new things new ideas come from their minds but this television is just and grossing their minds and it is capturing their minds and kill their imagination they start to learn in present imagination uh, present imaginary world because the television whatever is showing on the television that is all imaginary there is nothing reality if you see anything on the television that is all uh, an, Im an imaginary world that is too much away from the reality from the real world now just go through the lines from 27 to 32 it clocks and clutters up the mind it makes a child so dull and blind he can no longer understand a fantasy a fairy land his brain becomes as soft as cheese his powers of thinking rust and freeze he cannot think he only sees now poet is describing that what this television harm your children what happens to your children's mind in these lines it blocks the minds of child it make them blind that they are they can only see the things which are shown to them on the television they are unable to analyze the things or judge the things their brain becomes so soft that they easily believe what they are shown and their thought process also changes according to preset ideas preset means whatever is shown on the television their mind freezes and rust means now they no longer think and their creativity imagination sensitivity all stops and anything is not used for a long time it rusts jaise ki jung lag jati hai now he cannot analyze the things he could only see whatever rubbish is shown to them children now discuss the lines 27 to 32 it clogs and cut clutters up the mind it makes a child so dull and blind he can no longer understand a fantasy of fairy land his brain becomes so soft as cheese his powers of thinking rust and freeze he cannot think he only sees so the here the poet is discussing that by seeing the television 
what is going on in the minds of the little children. It blocks the mind of ch child. It makes them blind that they are they can only see the things which are shown to them on television. They are unable to analyze the things or judge the things how they are. Their brain becomes so soft that they easily believe what they are shown and they are thought. Their thought process also changes according to preset ideas. Their minds freezes and rust means that now they are no longer able to think and their creativity, imagination, sensitivity all stops and when anything is not used for a long time it rusts. Now he cannot analyze the things. He could only see whatever rubbish is shown on the television. Lines 34 to 42 All right, you will cry. All right, you will say. But if we take the set away, what shall we do to entertain our darling children? Please explain. And this ends with a quotation marks. Here the poet asks the questions to the parents that now the question arises that if you stop the television, where your children are busy all the time, how will you entertain your children? What is left with them? He asked the parents that do you forget that when that idiot box was not invented, when you were also a kid, then how the children were entertained? There was certainly more ways to keep the children engaged. So we can go for those engagement things, we can go for those things which you have always been used for the entertainment. So why we are just destroying the minds of the children by entertaining them with the television. Here the line 43 to 51 in just two lines he is giving the answer of the question which has, he has raised in the earlier paragraph. Well say it very loud and slow they used to read. So the poet answers himself. First he puts up a question to raise the interest of the readers and then answer himself that you all know that then when the television was not invented we used to spend a lots of time reading text or reading books. Next lines are great Scott Gadsox an expression of surprise. The nursery shelves held books galore. Books cluttered up the nursery floor and in the bedroom by the bed more books were waiting to be read. So in those days he's describing that what was the condition of your house when you used to spend your lots of time reading books. In those days nursery shelves were full of books. Have you all forgotten? Children enjoy various kinds of books. Books were scattered on the floor. You can see the books in the bedroom by the side of bed and you must have seen that when they finishes with one book more books are waiting for them. So before the television was invented the children used to spend their times in the company of good books. Now the line 70 to 84. So please oh please we beg we pray from here to hitting you with the sticks. So first you have seen that the poet has increased a question, poet has raised a question, he discussed about a problem. Then he gave a solution and now in these lines he is requesting the parents that how you can solve this problem. He is showing you the path also. So here the poet is requesting the parents to uninstall the TV set from their walls and in place of that install a bookshelf. But after that, they have to face the ugly reaction of their children also. Obviously, the children who are now used to a television, they are, you know that they have become addicted to the television that they used to spend hours, 5 to 6 hours daily watching television. Now if you will suddenly just want to get off the, them from their television, so they must give you an ugly look. They will not... Uh, react wisely with you at once so they might scream yell hit you even or give you kicks but after few weeks they will automatically attract it towards bookshelf so the at the first step maybe you are you have to face some problems to uninstall the tv set but you will see that gradually 
they will understand also and they will become they will become more attracted towards the books now come to the last lines of the poem from 85 to 95 and once they start oh boy oh boy exclamatory mark from here to we love you more for what you did here in the last lines the poet is describing that after you install the bookshelf on the wall what will happen the children slowly start reading books and this will give them eternal satisfaction and joy it will increase their curiosity imagination each and every child will learn reading books and they will thank you later for installing books and encouraging them the books will give them real wisdom here the poet ends up the poem with a beautiful outcome of reading books that once the children grow up with a habit of books and they are enlightened in the, by the books company they will thank their parents to give them their habit so to inculcate the habit of reading books to children is definitely a divine thought and in that way parents can groom their children in a better way that will definitely help the little ones to grow with wisdom power of imagination recreation or inventive ideas and television can never never be substitute of books now come to the figure of a speech section of this poem as you know that figure of a speech is very important part of a poem where the understanding of the poem is required and now when the pattern has changed and mcq questions are coming from your icc board so this figure of a speech has become so much important because many questions arises from this part also so go through the first is simile as you know that simile is a direct comparison between two different things by using the word as or like so the lines is brain becomes as soft as cheese here directly you are seeing that as soft as cheese is a simile the second figure of a speech is metaphor the lines are until they are absolutely drunk third figure of a speech is alliteration alliteration is the repetition of consonant sound words when in one line one consonant word is repeated many times the lines are pirates wearing purple pants so in this line we are seeing that p is repeated this is just to give the enforcement of your thought next is assonance assonance is and in its place you can install repetition you are seeing that some word are repeated many times just this poetic device is used by the poet just to give emphasize what you are saying few words emphasizes that highlights your thought or theme like the lines never 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 that is repeated three times means he is emphasizing not to install the tv set at your home so that the children become addicted it will harm your children so to emphasize this thought in the minds of the readers he is using never word three times next line is personification personification is that figure of speech where human attributes are provided the line is it kills imagination dead as you know that imagination is not a living being so it is taken here as dead it creates your imagination dead so it is a personification hyperbole hyperbole is exaggeration to emphasize something you are exaggerating something the lines are last week in someone's place we saw a dozen high eyeballs on the floor so you can you can see that uh, this is an exaggeration of thought that the poet is seeing so many children sitting on the floor and they are so much engrossed and engaged in seeing the television that their eyes pop up their eyes pop out they are so much engrossed that their eyes are pop out from their eye sockets so this is simply an exaggeration now come to the rhyming scheme this is a simple rhyming scheme a a b b means first last word of the line is rhyming with the second last word of the poem and third last word of the poem is rhyming with the fourth last word of the poem although it's a very simple poem if you just go through the poem you are able to understand the poem 
But if there is any problem and still I will advise you to read and to listen the poem carefully because I have made each and every point very clearly and I am sure that you are able to solve all the questions after listening this video. So children, do like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my educational videos. You can ask me the questions in the comment section regarding this poem. I will surely solve your doubts.